Hello and welcome to another Java tutorial. In this tutorial we will going to learn how to write nested loops in Java. Let's first understand what a nested loop is. A nested loop pretty much means a loop inside another loop. So there is an outer loop and then there is an inner loop. The inner loop has to complete all its cycles in order for outer loop to increment by one. Similarly, you can have three levels of nested loop, four levels of nested loop, and all nested loops don't have to be of the same type either. You could be having for loop in the outer loop, while loop in the middle level, do while in the last level, or you could do any combination. They could be same or they could be different. Doesn't really matter, as long as they're nested inside each other. The best possible example to understand nested loop is if you look at your analog clock and you will realize that seconds have to complete the entire cycle of 60 for a minute to be displaced by one. And minute has to complete a cycle of 60 to, for an hour to be displaced by one. And that's exactly how the nested loops work. Work. The innermost loop is like a second, the one above that is like a minute, and the one above that is like an hour. So in order for an hour to be moved from by one, the seconds would have to rotate 60 times 60, which is 3600 times. Why? Because every 60 seconds makes one minute. And the 60 minutes will require 3600 movements of seconds so that an hour can be displaced by one. That's exactly how the nested loops work. Here we will going to create a nested loop example to create this right triangle of dollar signs. So we need an outer loop and we need an inner loop. Some of you who are computer science major, you may actually get this as an assignment with asterisks or other kind of symbols. So however, in order to do this, let's try to first analyze this triangle. In this triangle, if you notice, there is a repeating pattern of a dollar sign. However, in every row, the number of dollar signs increment by one. However, here is the trick. The number of dollar signs equals the row number. So in first row there is one dollar sign, second row there are two dollar sign, third row there are three dollar signs, so and so forth. We could be writing five system.out.println statements to generate something like this. However, the loops are more generalized approach. However, if I want to have a right triangle of a hundred, then you probably do not want to write hundred system.out.println statement. Rather you want to be able to control that with one loop. Here we will going to use the outer loop to maintain the rows. So we have total of five rows. And we're going to use the inner loop to generate the number of dollar signs in every row. Now since you have gone through the for loop tutorials in the past, therefore I'm not going to be going in details with the for loop tutorials. However, I'll just use them here. So for integer outer equals to one outer should be less than equals to five. So that's basically my row count. So I have a total of five rows. And outer is plus plus. Two incremented by one. And here's my another loop called inner loop counter. Starting from one again because first row, I'm leaving the condition for now because I would like to explain that and then I'm gonna fill it up. And all I want to do every time is I want to be able to display one dollar sign. Okay, so that's basically what my loop structure looks like for now. And I put this in a block statement because besides four, I would like to add one more statement with the outer loop. Anyway, if you notice, the number of dollar signs are exactly the same as the row count. So that is my terminating condition for my inner loop that I want my inner loop to go as many times as the value of the outer loop counter. So when outer loop counter becomes two, I want my inner loop to go two times. When my outer loop counter becomes three, I want my inner loop to go three times because the number of dollar signs printed by the inner loop must equal the row number. So here I'm going to write my condition inner should be less than or equal to outer. So when outer is two, the inner will going to start with one, will print one dollar sign, then inner will going to print the other dollar sign to equate the outer being equal to two, and then we're going to terminate and go back and then outer will going to become three. Now what I want to do is after displaying X number of dollar signs from the inner loop, I want to be able to display a new line. I don't want to be doing it inside because I want all these dollar signs to be printed before I generate a new line. So here is 
what I have for the inner and outer loop combination with a new line character. Let's run this. So now when we run it, here you go, here you have a dollar sign right angle triangle. Now the beauty of this is if I increment this to f let's say 10 with one change now I can generate something like this. So it's very easy to control the look and feel of this. Hope you would have enjoyed the tutorial. Catch you another one. Thank you for watching.